out in faith. The hand you freely give to each other is both the strongest and the most tender part of your body. In the years ahead, you will need both strength and tenderness. Be firm in your commitment. Don't let your grief become weak, and yet be flexible as you go through change. Don't let your hold become intolerable. Strength and tenderness, firm commitment and flexibility of such is a marriage made hand in hand. Also remember that you walk, that you don't walk this path alone. Don't be afraid to reach out to others when together you face difficulty. Other hands are there, friends, family, and especially the Philippine American Christian Fellowship. To accept an outreach hand is not an admission of failure, but an act of faith. For behind us, under us, around us all, are the outstretched arms of the Lord. It is into His hand, the hands of God and Jesus Christ, that above all else we commit this union of husband and wife. And besides, please remember Paul's exhortation for the husband and wife in Ephesians chapter 5, 21 to 33. <clears throat> Submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of God, Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the Savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word, that he might present it to himself a glorious church, not having spot, nor wrinkle, or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. So all men to love their wives as their own bodies. He that loveth his wife loveth himself, for no man ever yet hated his own flesh, but no reset and true it, even as the Lord of the church. For we are members of his body, of his flesh and of his bones. For this cause shall man leave, man leave his father and mother, and shall be joined unto his wife, and they two shall be one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. Nevertheless, let every one of you in particular so love his wife even as himself, and the wife see that she reverence her husband. So I hope that this reminder from Paul will remind us all not only today and Magdalene that every husband should love their wife and every wife should respect their husband. Okay, so the wife is not commanded to love her husband but to respect and submit. But the more husband gets the respect, the more he gets to love. So that's why love begets respect, respect begets love, and in respect there is also love in it. So this is Paul's reminder to everybody. I would like to come to uh, to go to our vow, uh, so you may face each other and see your eyes, eye to eyes. I prepared, <coughs> we prepared two vows. One for day. <coughs> and long for Mabalim. So the first bow is for for day to to Mabalim. Can you just follow me? I love you, Mabalim. I love you, Mabalim. As I love no other. Like I love no other. All that I am, I share with you. All that I am, I share with you. I take you to be my wife. I take you to be my wife. Through health and sickness. Through health and sickness. Through plenty and want. Through plenty and want. Through joy and sorrow. Through joy and sorrow. Now and forever. Now and forever. For Marvelin today. I take you, Dale. I take you, Dale. To my, to be my husband. To be my husband. Loving you now. Loving you now. And as you go. You grow and develop. And as you grow and develop into all that God intends. 
into all that God intends. I will love you. I will love you. When we are together. When we are together. And when we are apart. And when we are apart. When our lives are at peace. When our lives are at peace. And when they are in turmoil. And when they are in turmoil. When I am proud of you. When I am proud of you. And when I am disappointed in you. And when I am disappointed in you. In time of rest. In time of rest. And in time of works. I will honor your goals. I will honor your goals. And dreams. And dreams. And help you to fulfill them. And help you to fulfill them. From the depth of my being. From the depth of my being. I will seek to be open. I will seek to be open. And honest with you. And honest with you. I say these things. I say these things. Believing that God is in the midst of them all. Believing that God is in the midst of them all. Dale and Bob, what token do you give to each other as a sign of your love? A ring. Can we have the ring? Exchanging of rings expresses the couple's promise of the faithfulness, faithfulness to each other. Let's go to our veil, cord, and sign of the Lord's covenant. 